Right, in this short video, we're going to uh, verify the law of reflection um, at a play mirror. Right, here's the, 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 the kit. We've got a ray box with a, we're going to use a single slit. Okay. Now, I've got two, going to go for two power supplies here. The reason is um, just gets a brighter beam with the, uh, with the light bulb. Now, inside the ray box, if you remember, is simply a filament bulb. Okay. But that's maximum brightness with one power supply, but we can go quite a bit higher with two. Uh, don't want to go too high, because obviously that's going to burn the bulb out. So it just makes it a lot easier to see the ray, um, which would be easy for you to see on the video. Right, here we have the plane mirror. A plane mirror is a flat mirror. Okay. There's the camera. Right, so it's a flat mirror. Now, pens. Okay, now I'm going to draw along one edge of the mirror, like that. And I'm going to draw the lines there, which is the symbol for a plane mirror. Okay, but we want the normal. Now to draw the normal, we need a line that is perpendicular to the edge of the mirror. Okay. So let's try that again. Right, there is our normal line. Perpendicular to the edge of the mirror. Right, plane mirror goes back in line. Okay, now the target, our target for our incident ray is going to be the, where the, the normal hits the plane of the mirror. Okay. Right. I'm going to come in at three different angles here. I'm going to trace the rays. So let's come in at a big angle of incidence first. Well, I've got different coloured pens, which is going to help you guys. All right. Now, let's trace. Let's go red first. Now, when, you tra when you're tracing out rays, draw a dot in the middle of the incident ray and dots in the middle of the reflected ray. So that was red. Let's come in at a different angle. Okay, let's come in at a smaller angle of incidence. I'll show you which, what the angles are in a minute. Okay, let's go for green there. That's the incident ray. That's the reflected ray. Okay, and then let's go for a smaller angle of incidence again. Again, same target where the normal hits the plane of the mirror. So incident ray and reflected ray. Right, we can turn this off and then we can have a look plotting our rays. Right, the first angle I believe is red. Okay, so red coming in. Right, incident ray, reflected ray. Incident ray. Reflected ray. Okay. 
Okay, and then try and the blue. Incident ray. Reflective ray. So hopefully you can see there that the law of reflection is true. So the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection at a plane mirror. Okay, so what are the angles here? Which ones are they? Right, the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection are the angles well, the angle of incidence is the angle between the incident ray and the normal. It's always the angle between the ray and the normal. So for our first one, for the red ray, for red, we've got this one here. This is our angle of incidence. This is our angle of reflection. Hopefully you can see there they're the same. For our green, this was our angle of incidence, and this was our angle of reflection. And then finally for the blue, this was our angle of incidence, this was our angle of reflection. Okay, as we can see there, they are pretty much the same. Okay, so there you have it. The law of reflection which is angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection at a plane mirror